Hey guys, Thunder E here, and we are driving, I know, doing a car video. This is the brand new Mazda 6 Signature, and we are taking it for a spin. See how well this car handles, as well as also how good the tech is in the car, because there's a lot of tech in here. I've got a heads-up display I'm looking at right now, I've got an in-dash display, I've got a Mazda infotainment system that is pretty easy to navigate. I've got Bose surround sound in the car as well. Plus, it's all packed with almost up to 250 horsepower, uh, in this car, so it picks up and it is going to be a fun ride. So a car, of course, is the driving experience. How does it feel? So I'm sitting in racing style seats that are really comfortable uh, and make you feel like you're wrapped around in the car. The car really does have some pickup with that, you know, horsepower package that I mentioned. You've also got a uh, sports mode that it can pretty much hit and gives me enough juice to just move around. Now, all the tech that's around the car makes driving really, really cool. Like, I had a 2009 vehicle. I'm now driving a 2018, and there's a stark difference here. Uh, the heads-up display is nice. You can actually um, increase or decrease the height so it matches your viewing level. You've also got sensors on the mirrors that let you know that there's a car on the either, either side. Um, you've got uh, things like this infotainment system, which I've got to say it's easy to navigate. That dial system really works well to move around. You've got three buttons, you know, entertainment, uh, home, navigate, which you can quickly switch to. Plus, if you plug in Android Auto, then you jump into the whole aspect of using voice controls. In my case, it's Android Auto, but if you're an Apple user, you can use Apple Care, CarePlay, which makes a lot of sense. You can go ahead and use that for your navigation or prompts to play music or things like that. Gotta say, it's packed with a lot of features I did not expect. I mean, on the on just on the pure car side, you've got some really nice, comfortable seats. They're very sporty, racy seats. Uh, you've got also got 250 horsepower in this vehicle, and it really kicks in when you switch it on to, to sports mode, so you can actually feel this car drive. Uh, a, lot, a lot of also little nice tech placements, like the heads-up display, um, which is nice as well. You've also got, you know, the driver's assistance on the mirrors, letting you know the vehicles are coming with of course with audio cues as well some even just cool caveats like it's got heated seats and also seat cooling as well so in the summer you can actually cool your seats while you're driving i love that everything just felt really nice and it's really interesting to see mazda could do all this at that price point msrp of about 34 750 which is really nice i gotta say i really enjoyed the experience with this car i wasn't sure what i was going to think initially but i have to say though it felt like a really nice experience and everywhere i went everyone was like whoa whoa that's a mazda i was like yeah yeah so anyway uh that's my thoughts on this car i really like it i like the tech integration i think it's pretty nice and simple it's easy for me to grab it and go but if you have any questions or any comments about the mazda 6 signature or at least just my general drive for this car let me know and i'll try and answer them for you otherwise guys don't forget to like and share this video favorite this video subscribe to the channel and once you do hit the notification icon to get notified with our latest bit of videos the bell just hit that bell and this is thunder e saying thank you very much always enjoy entertainment and Go check out the master. See how it is.